Hello guys, it's me, Army of War again. Bought the Omni Charge 13. I bought three of them. Um, and I have the Omni Charge 20. I bought three of those. So a total of six Omni Charge. Um, I'm not paid for this video. I really was interested in their campaign. Um, I did it back in September. Um, they pushed back the uh, shipping for a while. But it didn't bother me. But if you look in like the uh, Indiegogo chat, People went crazy, but, you know, after the Samsung, you know, fire thing, I didn't care how long they took, as long as it wasn't going to have a problem. So, I took two out. Um, I couldn't help but take two out. I'm sorry. But, you know, unboxings just show you the box, and they do have it on the website if you do want to see what's in the box. But, uh, just in case, I left one non-touched. Um, this is the box they come in right here. Let's focus. All right. Comes nice and sealed. Nice. Okay. And this is the third one on unboxing. Oh, the tight seal, god dang. All right, I'm gonna unlatch the phone right quick. This is the unboxing of it. You got the uh, brick, power brick. Charging from USB 5 volt. And this little adapter over here. Come on, focus. There we go. It is 13,600 milliamps. 49 watts to 3.6 volts. Two USB chargers, 5 volts, 4.8 amps. Got the little nice Omni charge. This feels premium. Guys, this feels nice. Very nice. All right. So I know most videos don't cover this. Let me put it down so it's not so shaky. So basically, the arrow that's pointing to the left is your um, input power. So if you're charging it or using USB charging, it will tell you how much is going into the battery. The arrow that's pointing to the right is showing what the battery is using. Um, currently, the batteries, when they come shipped, it does not come fully charged, you know, safety regulations and stuff like that. It comes barely charged. So, all three of my Omni Charge that I bought uh, came in at 7, 10%. That's the usual. This one came very specially, like 16%. I was actually surprised. Um, right now, if you want to change the settings, you double tap. Come on, you can do it. All right. So, if you want to change the AC output to DC, you know, most uh, things use DC. So if you want to be more uh, efficient, uh, I will pick that. Um, you have a choice, HVDC or AC. I currently use AC. USB output. So basically, if you want it to turn on when you plug stuff in, um, you can set it to do that. Um, I do it because, you know, it saves the time pressing the power button and stuff like that. You just want it to come on, let's say your phone is on 1% and you got to press the power button and then you got to wait for that loading process. No one likes that. Uh, let's see. Your screen off time. Um, if you don't want your battery to die, um, I set mine usually to one minute to five minutes, stuff like that if I'm paying attention to it. This screen is actually beautiful. Um, the video right now is making it look hazy, but it is beautiful. Black and white. 
OLED. Oh, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna go back. And the auto shut off. This is uh, like, if you stop using it or anything like that, has a time limit and you want it to stop. So of course you wanna leave that on. Temperature. So right now it's showing Fahrenheit. I like Celsius. About Omni Charge 13, 1300 um, milliamps. I'm sorry, 13,000 milliamps. Six at uh, three point uh, six volts, 49 watt hours. That's pretty good information. Yeah, it's pretty nifty. All right, let's get out of here. Exit. And basically, if you plug things in, it will show you everything. That's why I'm interested in this battery. Hello guys, it's me, Army of War again. Had to grab a different um, device. Samsung. Oh man. I'm having some bad experiences right now. Alright, let's continue with our video. So right now, I'm passed through charging for my tablet, which is a great experience. Um, let's see. All right, so for right now, you can see that it's passed through. It's using only 15 watts. The battery is not using anything. Uh, it is 30 degrees, 33 degrees Celsius. So I think that's pretty nice to have passed through charging so you can charge your battery device and your tablet. Let's say you're on going on an airplane trip, but you can't just charge one device and you wanna charge both just in case something starts dying. You can pass through some of that charge, which is perfect. Um, let's see, turn on you, let's turn on this dead one. This is the one I unboxed. Um, I love them. So these can only put out 65 watts. Um, they only have two USB ports Universal charging, which is great. An OLED screen, compact design. Um, the charging time for these, uh, let's see, which was the charging time? I think the charging time was about three hours. It's using the Panasonic 18615B um, cells. It has a self-balancing algorithm. Excuse me my, with my language a little bit. It has overcharge protection, temperature protection, short short circuit protection, and don't forget it has adaptive charging, so it will not hurt your device. Don't be scared of Army Charge. They built this thing to the max. It feels like I've never felt a battery before. It, it gives me different experiences. Um, it's not a pure sine wave. It's modified. So if you if you're thinking this is pure sine wave, no, I'm sorry. Um, let's see. The USB ports only put up to uh, 4.8 amps. Um, it has the smart charging, so it knows which of device wants. It has the 2.1 barrel port, so it's universal. So you can use it your laptop and stuff like that. That's what I'm showing you these in the front. I got three different ones. I didn't get the same one for each because you never know if you're going to cross against someone that has a laptop that's different from yours, but you don't have the other one's working like this and I'm plugging the bricks. So you can use a laptop because it's universal uh, to basically anything. Uh, up to 34 watts. I mean, sorry, 36 volts, 34 watts. It does not have QR wireless charging, so you can't just smack your device on the top and think that it's gonna charge. Uh, I did buy three OmniCharge 20s, just like I bought three OmniCharge 13s. You smack your um, Samsung device or whatever has QI charging on top and it'll start charging. Let's see. The life cycles of this is only 500 cycles. So you will probably have to change it. This device doesn't does not seem hard to open. Um, I suppress, uh, if I get my uh, eye opener and stuff like that, I don't think they use glue, my bad. If I use my iFixit kit, I can definitely get this open without hurting the device. I'll probably go through the back first through our, before I go through the front because I want to keep the front nice. Um, you can easily buy 18650Bs or some other Samsung um, sales online, but I, re I recommend they have uh, 
the little circuit protections inside so you'll never have any fires with this because you don't want anything unexpected uh, it only has a shelf life of one year after a full charge uh, what else can I say about this device um, the texture um, this it, it feels nice it feels premium but I've had that feel before with these devices. Um, the real thing about this is it going to sustain the wear and tear. I bought all these uh, Omni chargers up to six, plus the plug battery that's up to 5,400 milliamps. So it's going to be crazy. That's going to be my next video. Um, I camp a lot, so if you are campers and stuff like that, like I am, I love to bring batteries, you know, to keep me out to the other world. But uh, let's see. Um, I even have the little fireplace that charges your devices after it gets nice and warm. Um, it starts to charge, but very slow. But this would be a great device once the fire gets started. I can charge this with the uh, Universal 5 um, Volt 2.1 barrel plug, which is going to be great for this device. So I can pass through some of that charge while this is charging. I think that's a pretty good plan. Um, let's see. <coughs> It weighs 0.3, um, 0.83 pounds, my bad, I'm uh, tripping today. I really don't have anything to plug into it. What I have to plug in, uh, let's say my 3DS, and I know most of you who are um, looking at this video, I'm gonna tag uh, the Switch. I am getting a Nintendo Switch soon. Let's say this is about to die. Uh, yeah, it's playing Kingdom Hearts. All right, my battery's about to die. So let's see. What I would do, I have two options. I have the option of using this or plugging it in. Uh, let's see, where is my charger? Excuse me, coming right back. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna charge it with my little Windows 8 Dell. I had a Dell Venue 8 one time. Didn't like it, gave it back. And what we're gonna use, we're gonna use this one right here that only has a couple of charges left. Gonna plug that in, nice and tight. All right. We ain't gonna turn an AC output on yet. All right, so let me let me zoom up, optical zoom that right quick. All right, so I'm going to turn on AC. I'm going to turn off USB because we're not using that right now. And we're going to turn on AC. All right, now that it's using AC power, I'm going to plug in my DS. And see, it's charging. Right now, it says it's using 7.21 watts. And it tells you the temperature, how long the battery can stay on for. Um, that's the little time symbol in there. Right now, it says it can charge it for one hour and two minutes. That's pretty cool. I could probably get a couple of charges out of this. And this is only 16%, so this is pretty good for me. Um, when I get my Nintendo Switch, I'm hoping that I can play games at full fidelity uh, when I'm plugging it in. It's probably going to stay in my bag. My bag has a lot of holes in it, so it can probably get some air. And plus, these have temperature protection, so if it gets hot, it's going to turn off. Um, I know most videos are not covering that, so this is what I'm here for. Alright, so now that that's off, you turn this, you press that, and it stops charging. There you go. And it goes back to its usual 30 to 0.33 watts because the internal MCU is running. So I'm gonna take that out. Now to show you universal charging. Optical zoom out. So as you know, I love this battery. This battery, when I go camping, is the best thing out there 30,000 milliamps 
Um, I can charge my MacBook 12 um, from zero to 75 to 70. Um, basically all the time, it drains this battery down to zip. Love it. This light, they shouldn't have put here anyway. It, it sucks. I don't know why they put that little bulb there. Because even if you turn it on, it, it, it won't go far at all. So you can use two charging with this device. It takes a while, of course, 30,000 milliamps. It's gonna take a long time. It uses flat pack batteries. Um, but the thing I don't like about this battery, the reason why I don't like this battery is it doesn't tell me no information. It can be at a good charge and I won't know about it because once I see red, you're gonna charge it no matter what. Um, so, And that's actually saying it's actually dead now. Um, Cause I've, I've used it ever since. All right, now it's supposed to be showing universal charging. Let me unplug this one. Cause it's fully charged. I'm gonna turn that off. All right. So for these barrel plugs, USB, they come with, you know, standard. It, it's, uh, you know, something to get you by. It does feel kind of cheap, but hey, works. I'm gonna plug this into my Venue 8 charger. And I'm gonna plug that in here. What, in the top one is dead. And now the battery is starting to accept the charge. Now it's charging at 0.38 watts. Oh, now it's going up. Ooh, it's accepting the charge up to 10 watts. So that's showing you that USB charging, you can accept it and accept the laptop charging. So if you're wondering if it's gonna hurt it, if it does, um, what Omni Charge would do, it will shut off if the power is too high. Or too strong for Omni Charge. Um, if it's too low, it'll still use it. Um, it turns on at uh, 4.5 watts. So if it dips below that, it'll just stop charging anyway. Um, and plus, AC still works. So if you want AC to still work, I, I promise you, don't use 5 volts and you think AC is still going to charge because it will use stuff from the battery. Um, I recommend using the Omni Charge. Um, power brick or using um, a laptop charger which these are here for for you to use but if you want to see more videos on the Omni charge please comment in the section below if you like it like it if you don't dislike the hell out of it all right have a nice day